Meets to greens That's now, right? right. Rooftop gardens are, un, are not uncommon in Chicago, but a new one at McCormick Place is one of the country's largest. That's right. It's helping to feed the thousands of conventioners who will travel to our city. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli is live at McCormick Place this morning to show us around. Good morning, Vince. And they say farmers get up before dawn, and I'm seeing proof of that this morning. You know, we're not coming to you from a farm. We're right here in the middle of the city on the rooftop of McCormick Place. Take a look at the beautiful garden vegetables that are growing here. There's over a half an acre planted here and just planted recently in the past few weeks or so. And this is part of a new effort here at McCormick Place to sort of transform the rooftop into a garden that can help feed conventioneers that come to uh, our area. Uh, Angie Mason's with the Chicago Botanic Garden. You helped plant this, correct? Absolutely. What yeah. are the varieties of plants that we're seeing here? We have tomatoes, peppers, basil, eggplant, kale, you name it. And it's all been growing in just the past few weeks when the project started, correct? Yes, we started planting June 15th, so everything's and new. And the ultimate goal is? Production and training for our, for our Windy City Harvest students. Now, when you take a look at what's growing here, keep in mind that on the tops of many roof gardens here in the Chicago area, there's this uh, type of vegetation that grows. Angie, what's the name of that vegetation again? Sedum. It's called sedum, and that's basically to reduce the carbon footprint. But you don't really get to eat it. It's just there to sort of keep things cooler instead of just having the concrete on the roof. But uh, folks like Angie say, why don't we make this a space where we can actually grow something to eat? And here, for example, you're growing lettuces. Can we harvest them? I'd love to see them harvested. Now, uh, what will the folks here at McCormick Place do once you harvest the uh, vegetables? Everything that's harvested goes into the meals for the restaurants and for catering, any of the, the restaurants that are um, Savers restaurants. And that is just phenomenal here. So then you just go, how do I harvest a lettuce? I've never done this before. So you just cut, it cut it at the base here like mm -hmm. this? Yep. Just like that. You're a farmer now. <laughs> I'm a farmer now. What a beautiful bunch of lettuce here. So we've got lettuces this morning. We've got kale. And it's just amazing to think that this is what has been done to uh, transform the green spaces we saw on top of some of the buildings into something much more functional. And we're going to show you some recipes a little bit later on this morning. Although I'd like to eat this now. Of course you would. <laughs> Thank you for that, Vince. You know, as the sun comes up, hopefully they'll be able to pan across and we can oh. see they're actually on a roof. Yeah, at the right. McCormick Place. Right. Very, cool Very stuff. nice. Yep. Farm in the city, but atop the city as well. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli is live at McCormick Place this morning, where this year they are harvesting the city's largest fork to table garden that's ready to feed thousands of people. Good morning to you, Vince. I feel like that television show, Green Acres. Green <laughs> Acres is the place to be. And look at this here on the rooftop of McCormick Place. I'm harvesting some basil this morning. It's just beautiful. You know, we showed you the exact rooftops, but there are also these deep flower beds that have also been converted into vegetable gardens just since June 12th. Angie uh, Mason is here with the Chicago Botanic Garden. I, how easy is it to grow something like this? Well, here where we have three feet of soil, it's easy. Everything's responding really well. And you only planted this in June, correct? Correct. And take a look at how, how well the garden is doing so far. Uh, on the rooftop where we were a little bit earlier, it's not as deep when it comes to the soil, correct? Correct. And it's not a soil so much as it's a rocky mixture of, of just media. So we've been working to amend the soil and literally four inches deep so it takes a little bit longer but look here in this area they've already got some tomatoes that Angie's gonna harvest for us right now while I make my way on over to Connie Mason who's with Saver and you provide all the food services here at McCormick Place don't you we do how many folks do you think you feed on a typical week oh, about about, well, about three million a year three million okay mm -hmm. that's an awful lot and you're already using some of the uh, herbs and vegetables that have been harvested in just a few weeks here we do we make an infused oil all the time so our chefs will it's as simple as this I mean, basic olive oil, good extra virgin, and literally just infuse it with, with a nice fresh herb. So that's McCormick Place uh, uh, rosemary, and you've just infused it inside there. It'll be delicious. <laughs> now, how much do you plan on using the herbs and the vegetables from the rooftop garden? Well, from June until the end of October, about 4,000 pounds. That seems like an awful lot. It, it is, but, you know, talk about local. Doesn't get any fresher than this. And do you let the people who are dining here know that as well? You do your best to let them know, correct? We absolutely do. We even created a little symbol, a little green thumbs up logo, so it tells them it's environmentally preferred and it's from our rooftop. I can't believe this. So, it, you know, you probably would pay an awful lot in a gift shop for something like this, and we're harvesting it from the roof of a McCormick Place here in Chicago. So uh, thank you for uh, showing us how this is done. We're going to have some recipes for you a little bit later on this morning, and then go harvest more vegetables and uh, herbs from the rooftop of McCormick Place. Very cool stuff. I love that garlic-infused yeah. olive oil, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Nice. Good thank job, you, Vince. Man. You know the old show Green Acres, a lawyer had to leave the city to enjoy the farm? Oh, oh my.
Times have changed, That's haven't they? right. This morning, CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is live at, of all places, McCormick Place, checking out the harvest at the city's largest rooftop garden. Maybe you can keep them down on the farm if the farm's right here in the middle of the city. Uh, this is Swiss chard. It's just beautiful. And in my family, uh, we used to use it when we were making uh, the stuffing for ravioli. But this has grown... I mean, it's amazing when I think about this. On the rooftop of McCormick Place, just since the middle of June, they've been able to plant about a half an acre of vegetables and herbs, and they're actually using it here. Uh, the folks at Saver, who provide the food services here, are using what's been planted here to serve the conventioners who come in. This is Chef Vincent Lai. Chef, for example, you made up a frittata with stuff harvested right here from the roof, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So what do we find in this frittata? This frittata is uh, feature rooftop garden vegetables. Today we feature chocolate, bell pepper, and Japanese eggplant. All grown right here. Yes, sir. On top of the of McCormick Place, yes, world famous McCormick Place. I want to bring in Connie Chambers now from Saver, who helps coordinate all of this. And it was the Chicago Botanic Garden that actually started growing all of this. But the people who come to McCormick Place, who book it for conventions, they're concerned about how green you can be, aren't they? They absolutely are. So, of course, you know, how, how much local can we get? And partnering with the, with the Botanic Garden just made sense for us. Were you able to coordinate with the Botanic Garden what you wanted grown on the roof? Or? Uh, absolutely. It was part of our utilization plan, what we wanted them to grow, how we would utilize it within our catering and restaurant outlets as well. And you're letting your diners know that when they come and look at some of your menus, correct? Absolutely. And you were telling us a little bit earlier, I, I just love this too, you know, this is Chicago grown rosemary and they're infusing it in the uh, olive oil that goes there. Just some of the, the wonderful things that are done here on the top of the roof here at McCormick Place. Now we're going to go check out that half acre a little bit later on this morning and we're going to show you how they're transforming some of the areas that were used uh, just specifically to grow some greens so that it wasn't uh, too hot up here. How they've converted that into the actual areas where they're growing vegetables and herbs as well. So uh, stick around and uh, I'm sure there'll be something to eat too. Yeah, I was hoping maybe he'd bring back a bottle of that olive oil. Never Works know. Good. All right, right, thank you, Vince. To make some farmers green with envy, the rooftop at McCormick Place this year has been transformed into one of the nation's largest rooftop gardens, and it's being made ready for harvest. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is getting a sneak peek for us way up top of McCormick Place today. Hi, Vince. Marissa, what I'd like to show you first is the portion of the roof that has not yet been converted into uh, herbal and vegetable garden space. What's growing on the bottom there is something called sedum, and that's traditionally used on top of buildings in a city uh, that want to reduce the carbon footprint and uh, not have as much heat reflected off the top of the roof. But at the Chicago Botanic Garden, what they've decided to do is take advantage of all that space that's up here and turn it into a beautiful garden that's capable of harvesting the vegetables that you're seeing on your screen right now. And Angie Mason, uh, you're helping coordinate all of this here. I can't believe the beautiful vegetables you've been able to harvest already in just a few months. Yes, uh, the rooftop has been amazingly productive for us. We're looking forward to amending the soil here to a point where this space is as productive as the terrace garden that we were on earlier. That's right, because these were grown in beds that have about, what, uh, three, feet three, of three feet of soil, so the vegetables can grow a lot more hardier. But this uh, is the challenge here over here. You don't have much soil on the ground, correct? Correct. This is about four inches, and we've, we've divided the beds into different regions where we're testing different soil amendments to see what we need to to do to amend the soil so it is productive. But you're, it's positive right now because you are growing things that they're already using in the kitchens here at McCormick Place. Correct, correct. Uh, we found that, you know, the, the more that we've amended the soil, the better the, the vegetables are doing, and we look forward to the production next year. And the idea isn't just to have a productive space here, but to encourage other buildings in the city to sort of follow in your footsteps. Absolutely. This was a traditional sedum roof, and we've just, like I said, amended the soil and, and changed the plant material so that it's a productive space. And you know what? It smells pretty good, too. It smells that beautiful garden smell that you, when you're growing lettuces and tomatoes and uh, all sorts of basil and sage. And I don't know. I feel like I should be singing a Simon and Garfunkel song. I don't know. <laughs> don't expect me to sing with you. <laughs> no, not this morning. But uh, we may be enjoying some of these beautiful vegetables a little bit later on. I have been so amazed. Thank you very much for having us here this morning. Uh, what a wonderful idea. And uh, the next time we start growing uh, some things in my backyard, I think I'll get some inspiration for what you're growing here on the garden. Very cool. It looks great. Yeah. Great use of space up there. Mm -hmm. Farm in the city, but atop the city as well. CBS 2's Ventura Soli traveled to McCormick Place, where this year they are harvesting the city's largest fork-to-table garden that's ready to feed thousands. 
Here on the roof of McCormick Place, about a half an acre has been converted into an urban farm growing all sorts of lettuces and vegetables and peppers and things like that. But the folks at the Chicago Botanic Garden, they said, why don't we use this space and actually start growing all sorts of vegetables that the kitchens here at McCormick Place can use? And Angie Mason's with the Chicago Botanic Garden, and I guess you're enjoying the fruit of your labor, the vegetables of your labor at this point. Absolutely. You're finding that there are different degrees or different depths of soil up here, and that's kind of uh, impacting how well the vegetables are growing. Correct. The vegetables in this basket here were grown on the terrace, and we have about three feet of soil there. The vegetables that you see to my right are grown in about four inches of soil. This fall, we'll be planting about 400 pounds of garlic. <laughs> so maybe you can <laughs> smell it street side? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> but that's a good thing, because you're making use of the space. And the I idea is not just to use these vegetables and herbs here at McCormick Place, but to encourage others to do the same. Correct. Uh, there, are, there are a number of rooftops in the city of Chicago that could do the same thing. Already, the kitchens here at McCormick Place are making use of the vegetables and the other herbs in some of the, mm -hmm. the things that they serve, from infused vegetables to uh, interesting frittatas and omelets that they make in the morning. It's a delicious idea happening right here on the rooftop of McCormick Place.